is getting monotonous. Every year we do the same thing. We go to Saratoga, we go to Newport. Then we come to Glencoe for the yacht races. Well, I always win the trophy. Perhaps, Betty, it's because I have a better crew on my boat that we always win. Maybe. But I wish to goodness there was something else we could do. Lines. Bruce, you know this trip of ours to Africa in search of this city of the dead will be the most thrilling experience in our lives. Well, man, we're going to see things that nobody has laid eyes on, at least not for centuries. <laughs> Maybe, Andy. But I'm from Missouri. You'll have to show me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Can you imagine that? For the past few minutes, I've been staring at my own fiancé's back. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> now, don't say anything. I knew it was you all the time. Of course you knew it was me all the time. Oh, well, uh, I could see your father, couldn't I? Oh, uh, by the way... Uh... Oh, no introduction necessary. Uh, met you with the Adventurers Club, recall? Of course. Yeah, yeah. sit down. Thank oh, you. Sit down. Thank you. Hey, what's all this I hear about you starting off on an African joint again? Yeah, it's a fact. And you're looking at the number two man. I'm going with him. No. Well, I didn't know you were interested in hunting wild game, Bruce. <laughs> well, I'm not really. I'm doing my hunting with a camera. I'm going to try to get some shots of a city that's been lost to civilization for centuries. They call it the city of the dead. Now, just a minute. Where do I come in? Do you think I'm going to sit here waiting while you spend the rest of your life in Africa <laughs> looking darling, for a... Darling, Africa is no place for a lady. <laughs> I've been every place else in the world. Why not Africa? No, Bruce is right. One of our family there is enough. My brother Jim is known as the Jungle Priest. He's been in Africa for 30 years, teaching the natives and, oh, you know, whatever a missionary does in Africa. His last time out of there was uh, eight or ten years ago. You haven't seen him in all that time, eh? No, no much as I'd like to. Well, why don't you come along? Join us. Make it a fortune. Say, that's an idea. Why, surely. While we're hunting for the city of the dead, you could visit your brother. A moment ago, you didn't want it. Thinking about those long, lonesome jungle nights? <laughs> they do say that those nights are gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> Think of the surprise we could have walking in on Uncle Jim in the middle of the jungle. Uh, that's just it, my dear. I don't like walking. No, we'll stay home. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that leaves you out, Betty. While Andy and I are having the adventure of our lives, you'll stay home. That's what you think. Dad, you've always been a good sport. I'll toss a coin. Heads we go, tails we stay. I'll finish the coin. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I think not. Afraid to take a chance? Oh, all right. Go ahead. Toss your old coin. You ready? Yes. Heads we go. Uh, heads we go. And perhaps it's heads we lose. <laughs> <laughs> I souvenir, Betty of how you won your trip to Africa. Thanks, Bruce. <laughs> Two heads are better than one.
Junga, tell him to come. Junga. Younger. What's on your mind? You want me? Father Jim, he won't. Father Jim. Okay. Anything wrong, Father? Nothing important, son. Just an old man getting lonesome, I guess. <laughs> Cigarette? No, thanks. You know, sometimes the stillness of the jungle gets me. And it isn't the jungle that gets me, Father. The thought that after five years of work, I may have failed in what I came here for. Oh, no. The formula that you sent through to the States will be made up just as you want it. And when it's returned to Africa, it'll be the serum to cure the dread Malacca fever. Yes. But suppose it isn't successful. Impossible. Efforts for good, my son, always pay dividends. Now, don't forget that. <laughs> Hello. Now what? Danke. Not bad news, I hope. On the contrary, the best news I've had in years. My brother and his daughter, along with some others of his party, are en route to Africa. See, this was sent three weeks ago. They must be here right now. You are not pleased? No, not at a time like this. I didn't tell you, Father, but when I came through a post of village last week, I found a half a dozen new cases of Malacca. Bad ones, too. There was nothing I could do. Nothing I could do for anyone until that serum gets here from the States. Do you believe we'll have another epidemic? Ah, I hope not. That's why I'm not pleased at the thought of your brother and his daughter coming at this time. Besides, it isn't one danger in Africa, it's, it's another. Yes, the jungle is always a menace. However, you like all men a menace. Always fearing the worst. Now, I don't look at it that way. I like to look at the brighter side. <laughs> I was over this very same trail in 1920. In 1920? And you're sure that none of the landmarks have changed since then? That is not that you can remember. I'm sorry right now we haven't left that main safari. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Kellogg. I've never lost a safari in the jungle yet. Uh, well, there's always a first time for everything, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I was reaching for a leaf. I, I go! You know, Dad, I have a feeling that eyes are always on us. Mm, I have the same thought myself. 
After all, this is Africa, and it's filled with animal life. I told you never to leave the safari at any time. I'm sorry, Bruce. Thanks a lot, Andy. I promise to be good from now on. All right, dear. Let's get underway. Trying to get a shot of those monkeys back there was a silly thing for me to do, wasn't it? I'll say it was. If Andy hadn't been quick on the trigger, well, I hate to think of what would have happened. So do I. Especially after I looked at that leopard. You know, Betty, I was in India last year. The natives there always seemed to carry their women with them on the march. We had half a dozen or so with us. Well, we warned them not to stray away from camp or do what you did today, leave the line of march. One of them stopped to adjust her pack and got lost somehow. We never did know. Our native boys have been working all morning trying to scare up a tiger for us. Now what? The, the lion's ahead. Oh, Andy, that's about all I need right now, to be chased by a lion. What'd you expect to find in Africa? Seals? No. Oh, don't be so irritable, Dad. I have every comfort a man could want back home. I allowed myself to be talked into flipping a coin, home or Africa. Well, there's, there's really nothing to be worried about. Why, on one safari, I killed six lions all by myself, just like that. Uh, that. <laughs> uh, uh, I go. Uh, drum say, Friday? It say, white men. One white woman. That must be your party, father. They've come through. Say. No, 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 no,
They're just like children. In no time at all, every man, woman, and child will be on the run to see who's coming. Yes, I'm the only one that's not happy over the affair. You will be when you see my niece. <laughs> Same to you. What do you say? Uh, who, who, me? Yeah, you. Well, uh, I think, uh, I think he said, uh, go away. His, uh, his people don't like us. You know, take a walk. Me bring message welcome. Come. <laughs> Come. Too, William, more than I can tell you. So this is Betty. I'm Dr. Hammond. My name is Bruce Kellogg. You're the first white people we've seen in a long time. Seems kind of funny looking at our own race again. Come in, come in. It's been so long since I've had company, I'm forgetting my manners. Come on in. Father Jim must have been so excited he forgot to introduce us. Oh, <laughs> it's Betty Graham. It's Dr. Hammond. How do you do? How do you do? The man the natives call Junga? <laughs> Father Jim has written me so much about you and the work you're doing in the jungle, I feel as if I almost know you, Junga. Now sit down and make yourselves at home. <sighs> hey, it's a nice little place you got here. Yeah, one learns to do with very little in the jungle. Very little? <laughs> with a tiger rug on the floor? <laughs> you know, it looks like one I used to have. I gave it to the Elks of Peoria. <laughs> the only difference is, Mine had his mouth wide open, like that. <laughs> Down, Satan. Don't be alarmed. He's perfectly harmless. I picked him up on one of the Malay sticks. He was just a little kitten then. He's been with me ever since. And, gentlemen, I vouch that Satan is the only tiger in all Africa. Is that a fact? <laughs> Believe it or not, Father, that's the man who headed our safari. Merciful heavens, I wonder you ever arrived here, thinking my statement was a stuffed rug. Shame on you. You, uh, <laughs> you keep him here in your hut all the time? Afraid you'll step on him in the middle of the night, William? <laughs> Don't worry. He sleeps by my bed like a great, big, overgrown dog. I have no worries with him here, nor will you. And after a while, he'll be eating right out of your hand. <laughs> not my hand. And Andy is right about the City of the Dead being in this section. Of course, I don't know exactly where it is because, well, because no one has ever found it and come back alive. You mean even if someone finds it, something happens to them? That's right. I'll call it superstition or anything you like. But the legend is that those who gaze upon the City of the Dead become part of it. Well, we've come at least 9,000 miles, more or less. And I know that I'm going to get one shot of it with my camera before we go back. I'll have to tell Andy. You have spent five years in this wilderness. Don't you regret it? No, not a day, not a second. If I accomplish what I came out here to do. What is that? To stamp out a fever. The natives call it Malacca, which, which means certain death. Up until the time I came here, no one tried to find out why it raged or why its victims never recovered. I finally found a serum which I think will stamp it out. How soon will you know? Well, when the serum comes back from the States. Much as I want you to try out your serum, I hope you don't get the chance while we're here. Uh, I hope so, too. You may not know it, but you're going to a banquet tonight. Really? That's right. Your host is going to be the chief of the Posa tribe. Come along, I've got to remind Father Jim. Pop, <laughs> you're going to a native banquet tonight. Better get out your dress clothes. 
What? Not necessary, <laughs> William. You don't dress in the jungle. And the poster chief is very informal. Oh, uh, <laughs> civilized, I hope. Half and half. Think you'll like me? Enough to make you his white goddess. <laughs> to do with this? Eat it. What with? Fingers weren't bended before fork. <laughs> <laughs> don't let him know you don't like it. No, that's one thing you mustn't do. Never hurt their feelings. should persuade your friends not to go in search of the city of the dead. Oh, don't tell me you are superstitious. Oh, no, not a bit. But the natives are. Well, Bruce and Andy won't let that stop them. I'm sure that if you'll give us a rough map that will lead us into the Iwan country, that from there on we can pick up the trail to the city of the dead. Well, I'd rather not, Andy. But if you insist, I'll be glad to help all I can. How long does it take? Well, it's hard to say. In Africa, one doesn't count the days, nor the weeks, nor even the months. Well, in that case, I'm for getting underway tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, this map is screwed, but it will get you into the country you're looking for. Is there anything in particular I should know about? In the jungle, your eyes should never close, Bruce. Now, a day's march from here will bring you into the Kobe country. There are still headhunters, and believe me, the enemy of the white man. You know something? I never had an enemy in my life. Except maybe you want to count that blonde and... You will in the Kobe. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye, Bruce. Lots of luck. You do want me to come back, don't you? Oh, of course. Why shouldn't I? I don't know. I, I've just had the strangest feeling ever since we've been here. <laughs> Silly. Goodbye, Father. Well, good luck and come back. Thank you. All right, boys, let's go. I go! I go! They will come back, won't they? I hope so.
Anybody home? She's pretty. Who is she? Sorry, no one understands. Oh, don't be so fussy. I'm not going to take it. I only want to look at it. Oh, Friday, uh, where's the doctor? Uh, I mean, Junga. Junga? He get roots in jungle. <laughs> you do speak English. Little, by the gym feet. Well, you're doing fine. <laughs> Digging for worms, little boy? <laughs> Ah, I'll admit that's what it looks like. But on the contrary, some of these roots may save some of the natives from turning into, or shall we say, fuzzy little worms. Oh. <laughs> I hate worms. Oh. Lonesome, huh? Uh-huh. Who wouldn't be? Ah, well, you're never alone in the jungle. Always got something to look at. Birds, monkeys, sometimes even a snake. Oh, don't mention snakes. They make me feel creepy. Now then, you better keep your eyes open. And ten to one, you won't find them on the ground, either. They'll be above you in the trees. What do they do? Well, the lucky devils, they, they wrap themselves around you and squeeze the life out. <laughs> nice country. Yeah. Well, guess I'll run along. Must you? Don't you think I'd better? Well, now listen, you you go straight back the way you came. Don't wander around loose. <laughs> Don't worry. William, you must impress on Betty not to walk away from the settlement alone. No, oh, I told her a dozen times. Friday says it was a half hour ago she started out looking for Junga. Well, if she's with him, it's all right. Deliberately. Keep your eye on him. Come on. Hello, Dad. What's the matter? 
How many times must I tell you not to leave the settlement alone? Oh, shush, Pop. I'm not alone, am I? Well, no, not now, of course. Younger, we've bad news, very bad. One of the cats get a native again? No. Our shortwave radio picked up a message saying the steamer Macon was sunk, torpedoed by a submarine. The Macon? The ship that was carrying the serum? Yes. It means months of waiting again. It means a lot more than just months, Father. I'm so sorry. I know how much that serum meant to you. Oh, it's not what it means to me. It's what it means to millions of natives as well as whites who live in this fever-infested jungle. It's what it means to countless babies born here and die before they ever reach the walking stage. You're not beaten. They still have that formula. They can make up more of it and send it on to you. Yes, but when will that be? Not today or not tomorrow. It'll be months again, months. And if an epidemic breaks out, all I can do is stand by and watch. Watch them die like flies. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I sound bitter. It's also very important. I understand. Hey, Buckthorn, what kind of a game is this? We've been crawling on our hands and knees for a half hour now. Well, you're looking for the city of the dead, not me. And the map says to go this... This way. Well, I'm not going on all fours from this point on, I'll tell you that. Well, monkeys do, and they make very good time. Well, wait a minute. Look, look, look. Now, wait a minute. You wait here and get your breath, and I'll go on ahead. You follow me in five minutes straight through, uh... There. Five minutes. Well, the pipe would go nice in time like this. I'd rather have a scotch and soda. I'll join you. <laughs> well, it was a nice thought anyway. Got your breath yet? Oh, so-so. Say, we better not let Buck get too far ahead of us. 
If I never see that guy again, I'll be just as happy. I go. Got him. Quick, get him out of the coils before it's too late. I'm lucky if I don't have a half a dozen cracked ribs. Yeah, you're lucky you're not inside of that snake. Hey, what's that saying out of the frying pan into the fire? What do you call those? I don't know. They don't look like the tribe that we've been with. Kobe's. Headhunters. They're heading back in the direction from which we came. Maybe they're on a friendly visit to the Posa tribe. They're heading for the Posa tribe. They're going to stock up on provisions for the winter. Let's get out of here. Who's on Moka? He say, man sick in Posa village. One day's march. Ask him how many are sick. No good Three. Tell him I'll go at once. I go. Take me with you. Maybe I can help. Yeah, it may be Malika. And if it is, it's not a pleasant sight to see. What's the difference? They're human beings, aren't they? You're going to help them. Why shouldn't I? Because I don't know what causes it, nor why. Do you think I'm crazy to allow you to expose yourself? No. Thanks, just the same. Dad, I'm going with him. No, my child, you must not. Oh, but I am. Oh, will you? You must stop her. Stop her? You don't know Betty. I didn't want to come to Africa. But I'm here. Perhaps it's just as well I turned to this. I never did understand women. Surprise? Not in the least, knowing you. But listen, Betty, you can't go with me. You'll have to go back with the natives. I'm afraid you really don't know me. your camera and go to work. That's what we came for, isn't it? And how? Oh, boy, uh, camera! 
Well, this is the end of the line for me. You guys can do all the exploring you want to. I'll be right here when you're through. <laughs> Afraid? Who, me? I... Well... Uh-huh. Come on, you got enough. Let's get out of here. Where are the boys? Oh, they were right here when I went to sleep. They, they, did you see some... They're gone. Yes, and so are we gone. They've taken our provisions. Hey, we better make tracks back to the settlement. And fast. Men. They're bad. They hate the Posa tribe. They never miss a chance to kill one of them. Think they're headed for the settlement? No, no, I don't think so. They'd like to get at Father Jim, but a few of them wouldn't chance it. Have to be a war party with them. Go on.
he's the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, they're all cute when they're young. Uh, I wish you hadn't touched him, though. Why? Well, because he'll be an outcast from now on. The other lions will probably kill him. Why would they do that? Because you've been petting him. He'll carry the human scent. Oh. We'll take him home with us. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, all right. Come along.
I can't go on, fellas. But you've got to. You want those Kobe's to catch us? I don't care. Come on, Bruce. We know you're sick, but you've got to come on. Come on, <laughs> get out of here. Father Dim, white man come. They're back. Bruce. Bruce. What happened? He's been sick for three days. Buck was killed. We found the city of the dead, all right. Is it? He has all the symptoms. Malika. Oh, no, it can't be. You must be mistaken. I wish I were. You must do something. You've got to save him. I'll do all I can. I know you will. Friday, in my hut. Bring medicine bag. Medicine? Father Jim. Yes? In that radio broadcast on the sinking of the Macon, did they give the position? Yes. How far was she from the coast? They were preparing to unload her cargo into lighters at Dick Hand. Why? There's just one chance I can get that serum off that ship. Boy, you can't do that. I can try. Betty. Yes? Keep Bruce quiet and keep cold compresses on his head. When Friday gets back with my medicine case, you'll find a small bottle marked double A, double X. Every hour, give him a teaspoonful. That's all you can do. All right. Keep your chin up. One more trip to the wreck and we'll make it. There won't be any more trips. You've lost two of my boys already. You're not going to feed any more of them to the sharks. You don't seem to realize, Captain, that human lives depend on us getting into that freighter. Take me out there. I'll do the diving myself. I said no. I've taken you out there for the last time. Now, with or without your help, I'm getting into the Macon. All the sharks get the boys, and now he's taking a chance with his own neck. Still below. Got to 
something on that guy. When did Bruce die? Five days ago. He was delirious two days before he went. But he never left his side day or night. When did she collapse? This morning. Now what? Nothing, except to wait. Jungle. Yes, Betty. It's Jungle. We've won, we've won. The serum, did you get it? You're my first guinea pig. Nice being your guinea pig. 